Hello my fellow Drupal lovers. I am Supreet from Drupal Talk. Today let's look at how to reduce the time taken for a Drupal site to render. We do that by reducing the bandwidth used by the Drupal site. So for the demo I've, uh, I'm using the Apache 2.4 server installed on a Windows 7 machine. and It should be quite simple to set it up on other operating systems as well. Now the first step we're gonna follow is aggregate and compress the CSS and the JavaScript files which are getting used by the site. So head over to configuration and performance. Now oh, here are the options to aggregate and compress the JavaScript and CSS files. Now I'm just gonna explain briefly what exactly it does open the site on a different browser click on inspect element this is a chrome browser as you can see here there are a lot of CSS files being used to render the content what aggregation does is it combines multiple CSS files and creates only a few CSS files so that on a page load fewer CSS files will be used and this is done based on some performance algorithms so that the site renders faster. Next thing is compression. If we open up a CSS file, we can see that there is a lot of newline characters, white spaces in the file. Compression removes all the white spaces and creates one single paragraph out of all this text here. Let's go back and enable the options. Save the configuration and clear the cache. Let's head back to the other browser. Refresh the page if we inspect element again we should be seeing only a fewer number of CSS files now and also once you click on it you will see that all the white spaces is being removed and it is rendered it is there present like a paragraph the next step in the next step is to use the Apache server's deflate module which serves as a good compression mechanism. What exactly it does is it compresses all the files transmitted by the server using the famous gzip compression. Now let us see how much compression we will be able to get using this deflate module. So inspect element and then go to network, refresh the site. We should be able to see that our site is using about 25.2 KB bandwidth. If we click on the site and go to headers tab, in the response we see that there is no gzip content encoding. Now let's go over and make the changes, configuration changes required to enable the deflate module. For that we need to open the Apache folder, conf folder and httpd.conf. Search for deflate and if it is commented, that is if there is a hash mark at the start of this line, remove the hash mark so that it appears like so. And save the file. Close it. Now we need to specify the Drupal, our Drupal site, to make use of the deflate module. So for that, we need to go to the Drupal site. So this is my Drupal site folder. And open the .htaccess file with a notepad plus plus. I'm using notepad plus plus. You can do it with word wordpad or notepad. Now head to the bottom of the file. 
just above the last if module we're gonna place this particular snippet copy and place it here save the file and close it let's just refresh the page sometimes it might need an uh, Apache server restart let's go back to the network refresh the page so we see that the size is come down to 7.2 kilobytes now and also if you go to the si actual site and headers again you should be able to see that the content encoding is gzip so uh, once these steps are executed I have seen an improvement of about a reduction of about 30 to 50 percent in the total site bandwidth thus improving the time taken for the site to render also make sure you do this change these changes only in the production site because otherwise it gets difficult in debugging okay that's all for today if you have any doubts please leave a comment below do hit the like button and subscribe for our upcoming videos bye bye